pretty sure the beer of the today is not going to be a tasty one. For me, you might like it. What be going down, people of the world? Redbeard here, coming at you from his couch. Welcome to Daily Drink Vlog fucking whatever type thing number 70. 70 days in a row of making these videos now. I'm pretty proud of myself. <laughs> in Olympic archery, the targets are 70 meters away and uh, copyrights expire after 70 years. Huh. As always, all the thanks in the whole wide world go to those of you watching my videos. The Beard loves you all so very, 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 very much. Anyway, for the beer of the today, we've got a can of all or nothing Hopfen Weiss? Weiss? Not sure how to say that word. By the Underdog's Brewhouse. Yeah, this stuff says full flavored wheat beer. And then it says it drinks like an aromatic IPA mixed with a refreshing wheat beer. Hooray! Yes, it is, bitch! Oh, it bubbled for a second. It freaked me out. For today's glass? Indeed. Let's see what we got. Looks a little cloudy and definitely has like a, a pale ale kind of color to it. A little scared. Yes, much cloudy. It actually has a nice smell to it though. A really nice smell. That means nothing. Let's give her a shot. Okay, that's weird. Not really good. Definitely got the IPA thing going on, but it's definitely toned down. Yeah, let's do this. I don't know how to explain it really. It's not as hoppy, I guess you might want to say, as a traditional IPA. There's not nearly as much bitterness in the back of your throat as you're drinking it. Not as much aftertaste either. I am incredibly surprised. I thought this was going to be a lot worse than this. Hmm. It's got a bit of a fruity character to it. Yeah, it's not something I'd drink again, probably ever, but it's okay. Not a lot on this can. Four hops, three malts. A sessionable, full flavor golden wheat beer that drinks like an aromatic IPA mixed with a refreshing wheat beer. Ingredients water, malted barley, wheat, hops, yeast. 5.1% alcohol. <laughs> Excuse me. It's kind of funny on the can there. Like, there's the underdog, and then, like, ooh, there's the big scary guy. Oh my god, you're so big and scary! Yeah, that's right, I'm gonna kick your fucking ass. But I'm the underdog, I'm in the can, I'm gonna win! No, I'm gonna kick your ass. Ba, 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 ba. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. You should know that by now. Come on now. This is it the kind of beer I think that if I drank maybe a few of these, you know, a few more? kind of help build up my tolerance to that super strong IPA taste that is awaiting me in several cans in the fridge right now. I think that kind of made sense. Maybe. I don't know. Not something I'd drink just on my own kind of thing. Not so much. It's kind of leaving a bad taste in my mouth now. So, let's go ahead and kill it. Drink number the last. Maybe it'll taste better. No, it didn't taste better. Oh, not at all. No. 
Overall, my taste buds do not approve. So, Underdog Brewery, your all or nothing Hopfenweiss, Hopfenweiss, whatever the hell that word is, not recommended by the beard. It was close for like a minute, but not so much. And that is going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog, fucking whatever type of thing. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you watched it, didn't watch it, obviously not talking to you. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button with your face. Thanks again, and I'll be back very, 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 very soon. A peace out! Let's give her a shot. Yeah, that tastes like an IPA! Oh! <laughs> a lot of crap going on in there. I thought that was going to be a lot worse, and I had prepared myself and everything. Tomorrow I'm grabbing a nasty one. Oh yes. Oh yes!